Hello everybody and welcome to episode 15 of Foundation. I am Son of Kenneth and welcome all. I hope that you guys are having a wonderful day and thank you once again to everybody for your comments. Thank you to all the new subscribers and thanks for, you know, your guys' like and for you guys tuning in. So, as you guys and gals could probably see, uh, <clears throat> do, there's a little bit of a storm time here. Which is definitely going to down our normal production of wheat and berries and pretty much anything except for fish. Um, so we're definitely trying to stay ahead of the game here and hopefully we won't take too bad of a hit. We're definitely taking a hit in the happiness again and a lot of villagers are once again lacking food. So, uh, still not 100% sure why we're not hitting all our goals but hopefully we can get back to figuring that out we're we're still taking heavy losses here as far as the trading is concerned our maintenance costs are definitely getting a little out of control it seems like that monastery is really hitting us hard now with the uh, 620 gold maintenance fee so let's just take a look at uh, this wine production here so we have plenty of grapes where are you no barrels no grapes stockpiled yes my my leash will always send you my one novice female warrior uh, we are really starting to stockpile up on the wine. And maybe that would be a good luxury to actually start putting down as well, besides the honey. Where are we at on honey? Eh, not a bad stockpile. But maybe with some wine and some honey, we're going to be able to get that luxury need now that our villagers are lacking. Once again, not sure what's going on uh, I got a decent amount of berry but no cheese once again hopefully nobody dies that's like my one goal I should never click that I don't know why I still do it nope alright never when there's a market never when there's a market Oh, that's what. Okay. Luxury good stall. Nope, that was wrong. Bam. Okay. So parts. Do we have available worker? We do. Actually, I should check to see how many available workers we do have. That was it. That was the last available worker. I wonder why these are highlighted gray. Is it just because they're in the monastery and I can't assign them to anything else? That is probably exactly it. Yep, once they're part of the monastery, they're part of the monastery. And they all seem, wait, they all seem super happy. So apparently all their needs are provided for. So apparently wine is not a luxury that we can assign. Okay, that's fine. We'll just throw down some more honey. Hopefully our stockpile won't take too big of a hit. But we'll get that going. So we're starting work on the tavern here. And it looks like everything is waiting for a builder. How many builders do I have? A fair amount. Six of them, so... Wonder what they're currently working on. I think the only other project that I did have before the tavern was indeed this market stall, so there should be plenty of builders available. I'm telling you. I think they're just being lazy. That's what I think it is. We definitely have plenty of tools for the task as well. But, you know, we're reaching the good 220 person mark here. Or 222, excuse me. But we still are 
Well, we did make some money that time. As long as we can keep our village consumption going at a strong rate. And hopefully, hopefully with the uh, more guilds that we're providing to them, the, uh, the more money that we will ultimately make. It looks like we have a lot of grapes up in here. And a fair amount of wine as well. So the wine definitely is going for a lot. Can we sell more? Yeah, we're at five. Alright, so we're going to sell a maximum of 15 if we can't put it inside our village for a resource that they are able to use luxury-wise, then we should definitely try to sell as much as we can. Because this last time we didn't get any trade income, so I'm betting we might get a little bit more. Being worked on? Still waiting for builders. Where are you, builder? I fired him. That was my bad. All right. You are also a builder level two. No. All right. They're starting to get assigned to construction. Yeah, you better fill your needs. Jeez Louise, peas. Alright. Seems to be going down a little bit. Hopefully by providing honey in this area right here, we are going to at least service the needs a little bit for this kind of richer area. And the upgrading process, as far as houses are concerned, the way people upgrade them, I'm still not sure how to strongly influence them. Like a lot of these, like low and average for desirability. That one's high. So you got a high desirability right here. And a low right here, but this high desirability has not kind of increased the housing level. Where this one, these houses are very high. But then these become, well that one's very high, but it still remained a, a housing level one. This one's average. And still housing level one. Yeah, I'm not sure what really spurs or motivates people on. Maybe it's class. The class of the people that are in there. So let's take a look at these. Surf. 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 Okay, they're all surfs. Now let's take a look at, like, this house. Surf. Citizen. Citizen. So while there is a surf living in there, they also do have two citizens. And then citizen, surf, citizen, citizen. So it seems like there can be allotted one surf in some of these upper class housings. All right. What do you want, Mr. Envoy? Looking for five bread? Sorry, I can't do it. I will be in debt and make sure my people eat. Rather than meeting the needs of others. Yeah, Alright, allegiance is king to me. Yeah, let's get that trade bonus boost going on here. And we're not trading away any honey, right? Nope. Alright. Finally. Bad weather be gone. Let's get this production back rolling, ladies and gentlemen. Except for the grapes. Really don't need more production with the grapes. Got a lot. 
wish I could just trade away just grapes. <clears throat> oh, so it looks like we've solved our cloth problem. Plenty of wool. Clothing, well, it was just at 74 when I was first looking at it. Looks like it uh, dropped down a lot, which is good. I, I, I would rather have it drop down. So we might need to think about also building another tailor so that way we can get these clothes up now that we have so much cloth. And hopefully that'll balance that out a little bit. But it looks like everything can be put up for sale. Is Hmm. It says they're just buying this, but I wonder if they possibly buy other things as well. I wish I could kind of see what they are buying. Let's look back at budget. Does it tell us what they bought? Yeah, okay. 10 wine sold for 1440 Okay, cool. Look at that. Look at that. Got all that trade and still, still lost 414. Jeez. What else would they allow me to sell? Because I got a ton of graves. I think I overdid it. Should have only did one vineyard. I don't think I'm going to sell enough grapes, and apparently I can't put wine as a luxury resource. Let's see. Nope. Let's see if they'll allow me to sell this up to 20. And we have a lot of coal right now, too. We can start selling. We'll do five per trade. I mean, I'm just throwing it on here, and we'll just kind of keep track, take a look, see what they're doing. I am selling this. I don't want to trade that right now. Actually, screw it. I have a lot of wine in stock, too, so it shouldn't be affecting me that badly. Polished stone. How much polished stone do I got? I do have a good chunk. I'm not really using a ton ton. Right? 10, 20, 30. Yeah, that's it. Just 30 more. So we could also sell polished stone. We'll go with the 10 level. That's fine. Anybody buying cloth? They're really not, but let's just throw it on the market and see if we can't go with 10. I'm just going to see what happens. Like I said, this is this is just figuring out, and this is just the maximum that they can buy. Maybe we'll go 15, hit 20 on there, throw a 20 on there. Yeah. Yep, we'll take we'll, we'll we'll look at that. Back to the budget. So that's the only thing they bought last time trading. I wish it would tell you when the trader arrives. I feel like now I gotta like stock for him, send out my spies. Wait, is that him? <laughs> too fast, too fast. So he wants to buy fish. Common clothes, honey, and barrels. So barrels up to 50. I don't need any more grapes. Fish up to 30. What do fish sell for? How many barrels do I have? Stock zero. So I'm going to be kind of screwed there. Oh, he's basically coming from this place right here, Davenport. 
because he wants the common clothes, he wants the fish, he wants the honey, he wants the barrel. So he's coming, this is a trader from Davenport. And we're not really selling anything else. Let's buy up to 30 fish. <clears throat> so, we could sell tools. I mean, we do have a decent stockpile. Now, what I'm wondering, because there always seems to be a month when I don't have any trade income. So these guys, they come and buy, then these guys come and buy, and then these guys come and buy. And then because I don't have them unlocked yet, in that one month I don't have any trade income. I won't have any trade income this month either because I do not have any barrels. I don't want to sell my honey because that's going to go, that's my luxury. Good. You know what? Let, let us trade, and we're actually going to just buy this. Let us trade a small amount. Sell up to 20. Yeah, that'll be fine. We're, I don't... I don't want to sell 30. Do I? You know what? Screw it. We'll max that out. So what day is it? Day 5. Alright. We're always going to watch for day 5. And we'll see if that's really the day they come in. I'm sure they probably come on the first day and it just takes freaking a week for them to walk to my village. That was my one soldier. I'm like, I thought that was uh, uh, somebody with a big straw hat. How are we going on here? What are we selling? Okay. So many villagers lacking food, though. Okay, where's this hat? What? What woodcutter? This woodcutter? Probably. So we're going to fire them. Yep, that is exactly them. And we are going to destroy this building. Because we, I think, accomplished the goal that we really wanted to accomplish. We brought back and... Yeah, yeah. We cut back the trees that we wanted to cut back to kind of give this very quaint forest, I won't say forest, but wooded village look, which as for the people who've definitely been watching my whole video know that I love. I love the, the quaint quintessential aesthetics for the perfect medieval village. And that is exactly what this is turning out to almost possibly be we'll see well why are you not planting trees and that may be why wow I guess maybe a force of mine left and I just did not know it or maybe I didn't reassign somebody to the forester so we have a couple of people who are now available two tax collectors there are we looking here yep we're gonna have another one I know we want to definitely expand out on our, our Lord's Manor here and make it a little more grand but I'm really thinking about just you know throwing up another tower or extension over here on this building so we can have another tax collector in this area I'm always big on the taxes. Sorry. Sorry. So we're definitely having production of wood slow down because of my not seeing my forester leave, which kind of sucks. I don't think we're going to be too off-put or too hurt by it. So... 
Ooh-wee. Look at that. Even with that much trade. Okay, these guys bought tools and fish. Oh, I'm still selling fish. I gotta stop selling fish. Even though I'm off at 70. Hmm. No, 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 no. Food is food. We'll throw that back down to no trade. But they bought tools and fish. Hmm. Interesting. Planks, polished stone, and wine. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm definitely not feeling the. Uh, Not feeling like they're gonna buy anything else that isn't specifically designated to a certain city as far as what they're looking for. And maybe some of those do cross. Apparently some of those do cross between cities. But it doesn't seem like they're really buying up anything that... Well, maybe the traders just come at random because it is day one and he's leaving. So, so he's looking to buy bread, tools, and weapons. this guy he bought fish but he wants to sell fish a right, little confused I'm I'm, just, I'm a little confused maybe we'll 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 see what happens but I guess as long as I have enough trade income to counterbalance uh, a lot of the negatives I'll feel like I'm okay, but right now, like the monastery, not justifying the extreme cost. And see to have this extent. Maybe I just delete this one, save 19 gold. Every week. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna delete that. We don't need it right now. Ten out of eleven on occupation. Absolutely gonna deploy my soldiers. My liege, my, my, my king, yes. Yeah, oh, totally forgot that. Don't ever want to be disrespectful to the king. Alright, so, alright, this does have a capacity of 11. And the other one had a capacity of 4. Yeah, I would need at least a capacity of 5. To have the winery in the vineyard. Uh, stuck while going to my house. Oh. You? Well, for Jimmy Crickets. They definitely built their houses in very weird ways. They put the door, like they put the doors in, uh, and blocked themselves off. I'm just gonna have to build some housing somewhere else. We're just gonna delete that. That way, we do not have to worry about that anymore. Somebody is indeed building another house right here. Okay, well, we'll leave that then. 
because you're already building it. Or is this upgrading? It's upgrading. Okay. We'll leave it like that. Happiness is going back up. Still lacking in the luxuries category. Definitely don't think I'm producing enough honey. Sorry, let's get this game back rolling. Well, the question is... <clears throat> Wine production so high. Do I just build another aviary? Kill or uh, kill? Wrong terminology here. Uh, remove a monk from each one winery and one production. Maybe one each of a production. Then put them to the aviary. So that way we can get more honey production. Start really fulfilling those needs. Do I have storage for honey? I do. Okay. Yeah, let's let's think about this. The apiary. Yeah, let's throw it down. I must that up. Yeah, 30 planks. Oh, we sit on planks. We're sitting plenty on planks. Holy crud, we got a lot of those. What did I put it at? 50. We could probably lay off some of that plankage construction. Sorry. I only got two out of three. We burned through so much wood. What is this again? Sawmill. Sawmill. Nah, we're going to lose you. Frederick, you can keep your job. So... We will make you a builder for the time being. Actually, let's let's look at this. Three coopers. Keep our barrel market going. Miners. Stone cutters. Where we at? Stone. We're decent. Yeah, we have a decent spread. We don't even need any more charcoal either, do we? No, we're at 196. Yeah, we're at some decent spreads here. Yeah, maybe I should build that extra weaver's hut. Actually, I had a villager leave. Well, good timing. We got people who need jobs. Like, I don't know how you can not meet your needs when you work at a market. Like, you could f fill them all and then go home. I'm so lacking in the food department. What's our flower stock look like? Empty. Same thing with wheat. I'm going to really need to hit up that farming. Yeah, 
Yeah. I'm gonna have to hit up some more farming. So how are they planting these fields? It doesn't seem like they're going too far up here generally. I am curious on how far that reach goes. And she never replants up here. So, reforestation. We will just cut it up that way. kind of redraw these lines like so I doubt that they're they are gonna replant or reforce on the roads but now that I'm kind of sizing this up wait a minute let's just X all this out too Let's just make sure. Yeah, we'll do something, something more along these lines. big yeah it definitely was time to kind of redraw and refocus a lot of these lines I wish there was a little bit more of a uh, for lack of a better term uh, seafaring type of market maybe a trade port that allows you to trade then with um, exotic cities or you know uh, different port cities maybe that's a planned or coming update uh, I don't know for sure but uh, I think that would be pretty cool because then that would allow oh that would oh that would uh, kind of readily allow you to. Uh, damn it! Oh, I'm I'm messing it up a little bit. I'm a little too ham with this thing. Uh, that would definitely allow you to focus on a, a better trade trading dynamic. And I think it would add a lot of uh, flavor to it. And it would make more use of these sea zones because right now, you know, I do have a lot of, and I say sea zones, river zones, uh, water zones. Yeah, it's probably sea, maybe lake, large lake. Uh, you know what else? I I have all this water within my tiles, and you know, that was of course my decision to start where I started, but. The only thing I could really ever utilize them for is fishing. There is legitimately nothing else. So what then? You know? Got all this water space, but no real use for it. So that's one thing. One thing that it would be cool to see. And, you know, like I've said, and like those who have been watching these videos already know being it seems like some players themselves from the advice that I've been getting um, it's early access you know there's a lot of things I'm sure before the quote-unquote full release 
uh, comes will be implemented into this game and I'm really excited to see their next big update and what exactly they do have planned and what exactly is going to get implemented because so far this is a very very good game and I do want to see it how it progresses and what level it'll get to all right what do you want this time berries I can afford berries I'm gonna need a little bit of labor because I know that trade uh, bonus yeah that'll be coming up again speaking of trade how do we do no trade that last time little bit of trade this time so I have all three trade routes open but I still had a time when I had no trade income and I straight lost my butt up oh oh I'm gonna have some wasted gold don't like that really tried any of these extensions nope that's a wooden extension what am I doing no Wish I had a couple of different doors. That looks kind of funky. Still gonna throw that on there though. I did have the bailiff office. I mean, I guess the only other real building to add on is the stone main building. Oh. Glitching out a little bit. There we go. It's already got three right there. And there's not a lot of options stone wise. Yeah, we'll start that though. We will do that. How is this guy coming along? Oh, just building. Wow. They are completely done with everything else. That is awesome. They have brought all the resources that we need. Cool. And still planks for days. I'm telling you, I can't sell enough planks. I might have to put one sawmill on just complete pause. Then what would these people do? I didn't realize one sawmill would be able to uh, keep up so much, but I guess when you build buildings that don't necessarily need a lot of planks, you're going to run into that issue. So continuing to look at these guys, I still really don't see them planting up here. And if we go into residential, farms do not, do not take away from the desirability factor. They don't add to it, but they don't take away from it, which is good. Not like the sheep farms. 
Um, not like the cattle farm. Of course, not like industry does. Huh. Oh, we were thinking about putting another farm back here. That was the whole point. Let's do it. Because we're still having... Really? What? Well, I say that, but then all of a sudden we're at 81? 89? 90? Did it just take a while? Well, that's because everything's coming in. Everything's being harvested. Let's just manage this. Let's just watch this for a second. And kind of see how this plays out. I want to see kind of where we reach and how long it takes to really convert it into flour. See if we go back to zero. As far as wheat is concerned, I would prefer not really ever to go back to zero or go to zero on wheat and then have that constant flow where the flour keeps on going. As a matter of fact, we do have a couple of bakeries up here, right? But we don't have a windmill. Do we have a place that's storing wheat right now? We don't. And then can you store wheat? You can. Okay. Let's slot that up for wheat. I'm surprised we didn't have a place for that. That'll stop them from traveling so far as well. well that was weird. It's like everything just got harvested all at once. Huh. Well, okay. All right. Let's do this monastery thing right now. So, tons of wine. So, we will... We will take... Can I not take them out? Can I not take them out? Okay, so apparently, apparently once you assign a brother to a particular job, you are then not able to, uh, to take him out. So, if you're going to do this, do this right. Alright, back to uh, people. Let's look at this. I think I have one male. Still unemployed? No, I think I made him a builder. I don't know why I did that. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Let's just drop him like a bad habit. We're allowed to have one more person within our dorms. So, boom. Then he automatically gets a sign. Okay. So we'll start producing a little more honey. At least we'll have that going. Uh, we're not going to have it to the point we want. And we are just insane on the cloth right now. You know, if we could really ramp up our clothes production, it probably would not be a bad thing. So build. And Weaver's Hut. Where are you? Where? Are you? No, Taylor. Taylor's workshop. Throw another one over here. Yeah, right there's good. I think it might be in the replanting zone. Yeah, it's like in and out. Oh, this is done. Okay. Eight 
It can produce meals in exchange for four in cheese. And what does a meal do? I have no real information on meals whatsoever. What's the benefit of a meal? Is it a luxury good item? Let's see. It is not. Do people then go to the tavern to, to buy it? Okay, Stone Hall, Public Lounge. Sells tavern resource types to the villagers. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. So then I could sell meals to the public, and would that be another way for them to get food and have a food happiness? Or does that then become a food requirement? Let me see, we have 39 citizens. I don't know who a citizen is, but I'm sure one of these people are going to be... No, you're still a serf? You're an original name person? You're a citizen. So fish and berries are going to be your... Hmm. Oh, that's that small one. So we can uh, actually do that a public lounge. Yeah, okay. We'll see what happens. Oh, I thought she was going to go into the tavern. Let's see if anybody goes actually into the tavern. Seems not really. Kind of disappointing. I don't know what the benefits of a public lounge are. Adds 12 to the capacity of the public lounge. Do they get housing needs? Yes, my liege? Of course. If there's a public lounge, is that like a, in, another way to, to meet the, uh, I didn't send them. Is that another way to meet that requirement? Unfortunately, they go through the staircase, so I'm not sure if they're actually going through the door or not. Does not appear to be so. Hmm. I'm really interested by that. Oh, we haven't been paying attention to the wheat. Where are we at? 20? Hmm. It seems like we're going to run way out of wheat before we run out of the ability to process it all. Let's look at another wheat farm. Oh, I'm broke again. All the bills must have came due. Isn't that how life works? All right. We'll get that going, and then we should be able to take care of that. Hopefully, we'll get everything. And then we'll probably add another farm over there. Yeah, we're out of wheat. We still only have a nine flowers. So we are having a lull. 
when it comes to our bread production because of that period before they start harvesting the crops. Okay. All right. Well, I think that's about it for this episode. Um, so we did get our tavern complete, which is awesome. Now I need to kind of figure out what this meal does and what the public lounge does. Hopefully it does kind of meet a secondary housing need. Um, this is starting to upgrade here. We're making expanses onto our manor so that way we can hold more gold. That way if we boost up our trade like we are looks like currently doing yeah if we really start hitting a good high note on our trade then we'll be able to hold that money but I just don't think we're able to sell enough wine in order to accommodate that so we're gonna have to kind of focus on more productions as far as berries cheese breads and all that is concerned we're getting our luxury needs starting to be met with honey look we're really starting to stockpile it now which is great once we get this tailor up, boom, we'll be having more clothes. And maybe we can start trading for that as well, because I really do need to find a way to get more money through trade. So, once again, thank you for watching. And anytime you guys comment, share, like, I definitely, definitely do appreciate it. And I always enjoy it. And if you want to subscribe, and, you know, I know I'm a small channel, but thank you to all the new people who subscribed. I hope you guys have a wonderful night.